need to identify the weapons that we can use and most people think about kicking or punching but really we've got lots of weapons out there we've got the forehead which we can use for a headbutt we've got the teeth that we can use to bite and we've got the chin you may not think the chin is very very useful if someone puts a strangle on and you press the chin at the forearm it's very very painful or a bear hug where you're pressing down the chin on the clavicle we we'll look at the hand. What we've got there is the fingertips. Then we've got the extended knuckles. Then we've got the two knuckles in a fist. We've got the thumb extended, which can penetrate the eye. We've got the blade of the hand. We've got the heel of the hand. And we've got the slap, which is very, very effective. Then we've got the elbow. One of the most powerful techniques that you can have. And further down you've got the knee. So we can use the knee to come into the groin, the bladder. Then we've got the shins, which are very, very effective to kick the thighs. Further down we've got the instep. Then we've got the ball of the foot, the blade of the foot and the heel of the foot. Using these weapons correctly to the correct targets, unbelievably strong.